The second element around management control is intended to ensure that decisions that are made in companies are actually reflective of the, the empowerment imperatives of this country. It is for that reason that we link it directly with skills development. So the skills within companies must assist people to move upwards as well so that they can then be in a position of making decisions. Then they influence the strategic direction of companies um, that they operate within. So the tokenism around um, executives that are just being put uh, tokens but not making decisions um, uh, in companies, that is something that the Commission will be monitoring and ensure that actually those people that are there, they actually are involved in decision making. But the codes are already uh, providing the steps to ensure that that happens. So the monitoring role on our side will just help to, uh, to assist the implementation of the, of the tool that is in place. Um, now that the Commission has got the powers now to get deep, deep into this, we can be in a position to deal with the existing fronting, but also introduce mechanisms to prevent it from happening um, in the future. And um, do we also just appreciate the fact that um, in the stakeholder engagements that we have had, we have um, a sense of, of support from the industry that have shown the willingness to actually cooperate with the Commission and work with the Commission. We're hoping that can be um, like that and can be sustained because it's only through the consistent application of the triple PEE that we will then be in a position to achieve the results that this country requires. So I spoke about the quality. The quality of the deals, they take a hit and run approach, most of them. The deals are just made for a particular government department in most cases. And once that, that deal is being achieved, then after that you find that the black ownership either gets diluted or the, the, the commitment to empowerment going forward is, is, not, is not in existence. So our monitoring role will go beyond um, the award of the contract to see whether what needs to happen actually happens be, uh, be beyond the, the deal. But I think the final thing that we need to say is the issue around the integrity of the verification process. Um, we, we, we will be working very closely with the Department of Trade and Industry, but also looking at the, the, the manner in which the verification process is done. Um, there is a concern that some of the certificates that are issued may not be worth the paper they are written on uh, because one, maybe incorrect data has been given to a verification agent or that maybe the certificates have been issued fraudulently. We've already received complaints relating to fraudulent certificates that may have been issued. So it's an area that is important because if we're going to get value in the data that measures. If we're saying we've got so many level two companies in this country, it must be that it's indeed level two companies. It shouldn't be because a certificate was issued as that, but actually the company is a level six. So that is the part that the commission will be um, uh, um, uh, putting a lot of emphasis on. We will be um, uh, putting our our strategy and all of the other documents on our website, which will be uh, launched next month. Um, we will put everything there, so any document that you want to see in terms of what our plans are will be available on there. But we can tell you that now, um, you know, with the regulations <coughs> being in place, we will be moving on now to, to do the operations of the Commission. Assist and also that they are okay and going forward.